Hello everybody, it's Mick from Jester Bushcraft and in today's video I want to do an overview of the British Army Arctic Sleeping Bag. Um, I recently purchased this as part of a bundle which you'll have seen on a previous video but um, I've not really had much chance to have a look at one of these before. I've only ever seen them on photos on the internet uh, and now that I've had a chance to have a look around it I've got a few questions that I'd like to ask so if there's anybody out there who's got one of these or has been in the uh, the forces and they knows what, know what the little uh, straps and buckles and whatever you are for then I'd appreciate any feedback you've got regarding that but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an overview of the uh, sleeping bag show you some dimensions, weights and uh, some of the parts of the sleeping bag and then I'll go into the, uh, the questions that uh, if anybody can help that would be great okay so we'll get the sleeping bag uh, out of its uh, compression sack and we'll have a closer look. Right, okay. Well, the first thing we notice is uh, the sleeping bag comes in this uh, quite robust compression sack. It's uh, strong material. I'm not sure what it's made out of, but it's strong stuff. And it seems to have like a, a waxy waterproof coating on it, so I'm guessing that that's a waterproof compression sack. Uh, like a lot of the British Army compression sacks, it's got the two snap buckles on one side and then on the other side it's got the tightening uh, buckles that you, you pull down and that you can press down on that and you can pull them in and it obviously compresses, compresses the sleeping bag as the name suggests so you can loosen them off uh, this clip is actually uh, broken on this one so uh, I might have to end up getting a, getting a new one but they would just unclip like that and then there's like a, a flap that comes over which is then attached to the bottom of the compression sack it's all part of that this would normally have a drawstring in there but again that's uh, that's missing so I probably will get a new compression sack and then out it comes so that's the compression sack and there's the sleeping bag so we'll uh, we'll get that rolled out and we'll take a closer look right this is the uh, this is the sleeping bag laid out as you can see there down to the bottom of my feet um, but before I do that I just want to give you uh, give you a couple of dimensions and weights the approximate weight of the sleeping bag including including the compression sack is about two and a half kilograms um, lengthwise it's about 7 foot in length which is about 2.1 meters and the width of the shoulders uh, just about here at the widest point is uh, 32 inches which is 0.8 meters and down at the foot end down here it's 20 inches which is about uh, 0.5 of a meter so you can see there the dimensions and the uh, and the weights now I have looked at photos on the internet and there's different versions, there's short versions and there's long versions of this particular sleeping bag. There might even be a medium one, I don't know. But looking at the photos, this uh, sort of flat, this baffle here, a lot of them just seem to come down to just below the pocket area here. But this one carries all the way down, right down to here, almost to the foot end. So I'm assuming this is the long version if anybody can clarify that for me uh, that would be great so you can see there the condition of the sleeping bag it's a uh, really good condition I was really pleased with it when I got it um, there's no no rips no tears it's clean all the zips work all the uh, drawstrings are there which I'm going to come to later so that's the uh, that's the basic detail of the sleeping bag with the uh, dimensions and the weights so all we'll I'll do now is we'll get up a bit closer now and look at, the de yeah, look at the different aspects of the sleeping bag. Right, if we start at the, uh, the head end of the sleeping bag, you can see there it's got the integrated hood with the drawstring and toggle there, for pulling that up right around your face. And then you come down and you can see there there's this flap or baffle which fits over the central zip, it's got a central YKK zip so it's a good strong quality zip 
and that runs all the way down like I showed you before almost down to the foot end so it's good it's easy for getting in and out of this sleeping bag <clears throat> I have given it a little try and it, uh, it's much easier than a side zip I find but I suppose that's personal preference uh, you've got the thumb loops on the zip there now one thing I do like about this baffle um, is you've got two options you can either just have it like that where it just flops over and just sits or if you just undo this flap here this velcro it opens up the velcro which can then come over and stick to the other velcro so you can actually fix it in place I'm assuming that that is for when the army are in sort of stealth mode and they don't want to make any noise um, or it might be just for ease of getting out, getting out quicker if it's the uh, flaps secured on there without the, so the velcro is not active then they can just quickly get that open but it still comes over and keeps the draft out again if you, uh, if you know about that you force these guys then uh, please let me know because I'm quite interested to learn a bit more about this sleeping bag so there we go, we've got the YKK zip, um, we've got the flap over the top, we've got the toggles, uh, we've got these strings on the side, I'm going to come to them in a minute because I, I need to know what they're for as well. So if we work our way down, you can see there, you've got two big mesh pockets there, two big mesh pockets so you can put mobile phones in there, torches, a uh, book, whatever you want really, whatever you need. So uh, that's a nice little feature. Now again, I've seen these uh, posted on the internet, photos, and some people say that the pockets are on the outside, but I've heard other people say that the pockets are internal pockets. Now, if you turn this inside out, the sleeping bag inside out, so these are on the inside, then if you look at the zip, the zip is external here it's not one of the zips where on the other side the uh, this bit spins round and goes on to the other side it's just an external zip with the sleeping bag that way around and then the baffle goes over the top but if these pockets were on the inside then this flap would be obviously on the inside and then the zip you'll be shutting the sleeping bag from inside the sleeping bag internally rather than externally so I, I think that's the right way around I think these are external pockets not internal pockets but if you know better please let me know right so down to the foot end and um, the baffle goes all the way down to the bottom and then simply well it's just the end of the sleeping bag uh, there's two little loops there um, and that's about it for that really so that's the basics of the sleeping bag now we come on to these bits we've got here two little sort of strings and then there's three little loops there now I can only assume that they're for tying into there to maybe shrink it down or is it when you're folding it up when you're wrapping it away you use these this one ties onto the other side because there's one on the other side as well there is this what you use for folding the sleeping bag up and tying it up I don't know so if you know let me know because I need to know don't you know right That's, is there anything else uh, no those are the loops on the back okay so uh, that's the that's the external side of the uh, sleeping bag. What I'll do now is I'll turn it inside out, and we'll have a look inside. Right. Okay. We're uh, inside the sleeping bag now, and uh, there's not a great deal to talk about, to be honest. The only uh, point to talk about is this particular strap here that's on the foot end of the sleeping bag. And um, there's the label. It's very faded, so I can barely tell what it says, um, I don't know whether you can make that out, 1993 uh, sleeping bag, we know that you can just see the the NATO number I can just make out 98-978-9194 there are some other numbers on there but I can't quite read that 
um, and that's as much as I can make out really use the uh, area on the back there for putting your name on number and I think there's washing instructions um, so again there's a strap on the bottom and if I remember rightly I thought there was some little loops on the inside for maybe attaching some strings on the inside for a liner I can't see those no nope, that was must have been just ones on the outside so that's basically uh, that's basically what you've got on the inside right so there we go that's the uh, those are the components of the sleeping bag that you've just seen um, I mean I'm assuming this is a British Army sleeping bag I could be wrong I'm pretty sure it is but um, if anybody who may have spotted something thought no no that's a Dutch Army one or a German one or whatever I'm almost I'm 90% sure that it is a British Army one but if you can tell me otherwise again I'll be uh, I'll be glad to hear from you I'd really appreciate it so um, the questions I'd like an answering if anybody knows the answer to them is what these little strings are for with the three little loops on either side of the rear of the sleeping bag um, is this a, is this a long sleeping bag compared to the short one? Um, the pockets, I'm assuming they're supposed to be external, not internal. Uh, was there anything else? Uh, washing, best way to wash them. I've heard that you should wash them at about 40 degrees with non-bio uh, detergent in the washing machine. If you if you've got a washing machine big enough, I've tried putting this in the washing machine and it just was too tight, I didn't want to risk it so I'll probably end up taking it to a laundrette or something uh, and then you can just tumble dry it and uh, because it's synthetic so that's a good thing about this but what I will do is I'll probably get myself a, a liner for this uh, sleeping bag and then I can just take the liner out and just wash the liner but uh, it's fine, I've had it aired out on the line outside and it smells fresh now, it's clean um, really pleased with it so uh, I'm looking forward to giving this a try hopefully with my Dutch Army bivvy and uh, we'll see how we go with it so there you go, that's the British Army Arctic sleeping bag we think um, recently purchased as part of a bundle really pleased with it if you know any more information about it please let me know and, uh, and that's it, British Army sleeping bag ok, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you on the next video